Today we're going to demo the Barnhart 5.6 Universal Scalar. And in order to find the correct working end and posterior sextants, it's going to be the same as our Explorer. We're going to put the instrument tip interproximal and find the end where the long axis of the tooth is parallel to the functional shank or the terminal shank and the functional shank goes up and over. Now, if I were to put the incorrect end interproximal, the functional shank is now going down and around. Okay. So just when, as when instrumenting with our Explorer, we're going to start on the distal buckle line angle, make small controlled working strokes. And then the mesial, again, we'll insert at the distal buckle line angle and work our way across. Now, in order to achieve proper angulation to insert our instrument subgingival, we're going to have to be between 0 and 40 degrees. So on the distal, we're going to have to completely close our blade and insert. And then we'll reopen the blade to instrument across the distal. We want to achieve that 70 to 80 degrees once we're subgingival. Again, to insert, we're going to be at zero degrees. And then we will open up our blade angulation. And for anterior teeth, in order to find the correct working end, we're going to find the end that wraps and adapts to the surface that we're working on. So that end wraps towards the mesial, and we will get our blade angulation of 70 to 80 degrees. Make small overlapping biting strokes. And same thing as with the posterior. When we insert, we want to close our blade to zero degrees towards the tooth. And then open our blade up once we're subgingival to 70 to 80 in order to instrument the root surface. And as we're instrumenting subgingival, we want to keep that blade underneath the tissue until we've completely instrumented the entire surface.